So James, can you guys just take us through what it was like getting the news that you're going to be promoted up here to Double A? Uh, yeah, my manager um, Mario, he brought me in the office after and kind of just gave me a congrats and just kind of just, it was sort of a lot going on at that moment, so it was, it was pretty cool, just sort of bittersweet. Obviously, I had to say goodbye to all those coaches, but it was, a, it was a lot of good news going around, so it was pretty exciting. Yeah, you also had like a lot of other teammates having pretty strong seasons at Wilmington too. I mean, is that kind of like a bittersweet moment to to leave those guys behind as well? No, but knowing that you know your career is advancing. Yeah, for sure. But I mean, a lot of those guys, I'll be I'll be seeing them up here sooner rather than later, for sure. So, but yeah, obviously leaving those guys, leaving a lot of the the worker people who worked at Wilmington, obviously they treated me good there. So it was tough saying goodbye for sure. I know it's only been one game, but. What are you anticipating to be the biggest adjustment at Double A as opposed to High A? Um, I just think obviously each level you go up, the game gets a little bit faster, but it sort of just stays on me to, to just continue to play at my own pace and, and just be myself. Depth you guys had there. Here you obviously have Robert Haas as a third in the outfield too. Do you think that kind of like drives you, brings out a competitiveness, and gives you like you know other players to look up to that are you know just? Oh uh, yeah, I definitely think we could each all make each other better for sure. So it's a lot to look forward to. I'm really really excited to play with these guys. And no, I don't think Robert played in your the one game you played so far. Um, but what's it going to be like when you guys share an outfield together? When you guys are like hitting on the top of the lineup? Because uh, this will be the first time you guys could be on the same team in the Nat system. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I played with him a little bit in spring, a little bit in instructs, but this is the first time really officially like a full season being on the same team with him. So it's a lot to look forward to. I'm really excited for it. What was working well for you? Because you had a really strong week last week leading up to this promotion. Just what's been clicking for you at the plate? Um, I think I've just been real balanced at the plate. I've just been real patient, just trying to look for pitches I'm able to do damage with. So we heard that you're quite the comedian around your teammates. Around us, you're kind of quiet, but they were like, no, you're the funny guy in the clubhouse. Uh, I don't I don't know. I don't really got too much to say on that. I, don't, <laughs> I mean, I don't really try to, but I mean, I guess if they say I'm funny, then maybe I got a few jokes in me. It was TJ that ratted you out. <laughs> He's the one that said that you were the funny one. What? <laughs> um, so what's, I guess, what was the uh, the transition? Like, I mean, you find out, was that Saturday night or Sunday morning? And then you Saturday just night. went over and, I mean, what was just... What's that kind of whirlwind like, you knowing that right, I have to go meet this new team, you know, two hours away? Yeah, I mean, it was a lot, but thankfully it was, it was a short trip to Reading, and even this trip to Bowie is not too far. I was able to stop at home, so that really made the transition pretty smooth, and it's, it's, been, it's been nice so far. Is it nice they're going to have, like, your first full double-A series in here, like, near your hometown? We'll grow up and have friends and family come out? Yeah, I mean, I'm only 40 minutes away, so... Of a lot of familiar faces in the crowd, so it'll be it'll be a lot of fun. Robert and you are have been playing mostly center field all season. So, do you? I know you said before you don't really mind where you play, but where do you kind of foresee yourself? How this outfield's going to shape up uh, here at Harrisburg? Oh, uh, that's a good question. I mean, we'll probably see in the next week or so. But I'm just really excited to be in the same lineup as him. I'm not really too concerned whether I'm in center right or left, or he's in center right or left, but. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun for sure. I mean, we got a lot of good outfielders on this team. I know Blake Rutherford got Player of the Week this last week, so I mean, he's he's been doing his thing too. So it'll be a lot of fun for sure. You find it, I mean, not surprising is the right word, but like I'd kind of be like, oh, I this is a quicker timeline to be up the Double A than you anticipate because I mean, typically promotions like this don't happen until like later in June or maybe even July, but here we are Memorial Day weekend and you're up here at Double A. Is that maybe unexpected or do you feel like, yeah, my level of play has, has kind of spoken for itself? Uh, I don't really look too far into expectations. I kind of just try and go out there and do my thing and just whatever happens, happens. I don't really try and, I feel like if you try and live up to expectations, you kind of, I don't want to say like you can disappoint, but I just I don't really look too too much into them. I kind of just try and go out there and do my own thing. 